Okay, Lisa. Introduce yourself to the church. Well, my name is Lisa Marie Lopez, and I just graduated from UTP. Yay! What'd you get your degree in? Psychology. I was raised in Fort Texas. Okay. Raised in a very devout Roman Catholic church. Okay. We participated every Sunday, you name it. My family was Your mom, there. your dad, your siblings, everybody went to Mass every yes. week. It was done mostly because I was told to. It was expected from me and my, my sisters and brother to serve every Sunday. And if I didn't, it was like something was wrong. Okay. Um, my heart wasn't in it though. It could have been uh, for a variety of reasons. Just, I had a lot of anger. So I served, but my heart wasn't in it at all. It was actually through a college ministry that I ended up finding out about Rogas. There was this one guy named Juan Jose who ended up walking into our group Destino and there was just something different about him and he kept talking about his church, how it was full of fellowship and community and it was surprising first and foremost to see a guy that was so driven for the Lord and I was curious and he was just very missional like he kept inviting me and my best friend to go. Nice. It was really hard though because again coming from a Catholic background anything outside of Catholicism was just frowned mm. upon but the Spirit of the Lord was driving me there and when I ended up going I remember him preaching and it just hit close to home. I serve mostly with Logas kids, with the kiddos. It's very different because I feel like the things that needed to happen in my past needed to happen in order for me to serve the way I do now. Um, although my Catholic, my Catholic family um, had it all together in front of everyone else, there was a lot of brokenness. And I feel that as children growing up, the most simplest words are I love you and I know that I needed to go through that in order to understand what being without it felt like. So now that I'm with the kids, about one third of our kids come from divorced parents um, and a lot of the kids just want to be loved mm. and just want to see examples of what Christ-centered labor looks like. I want to see someone just truly loved them and serve them. There just had to be a point where I gave it all to him. I was full of anger, full of bitterness, and I felt very empty, um, past full of depression. Um, and there just had to be a point when I realized I just could not hold on to all those things by myself. And knowing that he was there all along, very the pain with me, but also showing me what I really was apart from him. It's changed everything. He's the example of what a father is like to me. And because of that example, I'm able to at least reflect that to the children of church service. Um, I feel like it's so essential. I mean, it's a reflection of that love being poured into and just reflecting it back. I mean, has to go from the head to the heart to the hands. We just have to serve others because there's others out there that they need to be served. They need to be shown the reflection of Christ's love.